Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play. Suddenly, Black Hole again. Wow, so Cecil really just has no time. fucking love or luck. Anyways, so Cecil's all by himself, so in case you encounter any enemies, darkness. Strength of anguish. <laughs> no, Anyways, sorry. let's see where we ended up. Strength of anguish, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up in fucking Mysidia. Wow. Ooh. But, tune in next week. Attention, more. everybody! No hard feelings? Yeah, right. <laughs> get him! Ah! Why did they get those pitches and torch for it? Uh, pitch Tune forks. in next week when we see Malcolm X in Alabama. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hi there. So, uh, yeah, we're in Mysidia. The oh, same wait. village that Cecil... It also rhymes with Dissity. Yeah. <laughs> with the same village that Bar uh, Cecil and his... Baron and all who serve her should ride in the deepest circles of hell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 okay, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> Thank you, wall post. Thank you. Oh, hey, you gonna sexy do lady. Maybe she'll dance for us for a bit. And take our minds off the I don't like this recent tune. tragedy. Yeah, this tune is awfully foreboding. Yeah, right. And yeah, she's not moving very fast. Purple? What? what? Getting sleepy? Oh, she's boring. She's boring me to death. <laughs> uh, what happened? I'm a pig. Now we're a pig. Wink. You require much training. What did you do? Oh fuck! What the hell? Why you? Why are you skipping? Yes. Uh, okay. So yeah, talking to that lady will put you in pig status. Lovely. So now we are Cecil the pork, <laughs> or uh, swine. Flu. So, uh, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> so yeah, there are there are actually a total of I think three. Bacon, the bacon of Baron. The bacon. <laughs> there you go. I knew it was only a matter of time. So yeah, there there are a total. <laughs> There are a total of three people I think you could talk to in Mysidia that will actually hurt Cecil if you talk to them. One is the guy in the beginning of the village who will uh, use Toad on you, which you can transform right back as soon as you talk to him again. Yeah. The lady who dances with curses with you a pig, and there's also the bartender inside the inn that will poison your drink and, you know, suddenly you're poisoned. Lovely. Yeah. It's nice to see that we go in this town and there's like no hard feel no that not that many hard feelings. Oh no, everyone a everyone hates our guts. Dude, we're in a village of black mages. We should have been a fucking pile of ashes. Yeah, you're right. But I think it's all because of the elder, which is no ill will. You know, you murdered, you murdered two of, we murdered many of our youth, but we're cool with that. He's like the buddy Christ of the town. <laughs> it's always with a wink and a gun. <laughs> so uh, Cecil will explain to Elder here that he wants to redeem himself and doesn't want the Dark Knight title anymore. So the elder really does think that Cecil means that. So he's sending him on a quest to Mount Ordeals to become a paladin, but he needs assistance. Enter Palum and Poron. Well, this is my magic again. Yes, we do. And I really think these are very awesome magic users. Hi, Porum. Hi, Palum. I think I killed your mother. <laughs> Did I kill your mother yet? Oh, give us some time. <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable. Okay, so we have a black and white mage with us again. And oh. we just turned back and we just put on our pig suits. Let me put my suit back on. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon! Okay, so we're heading into the weapon and armor shop. I would recommend you get three wizard hats. Uh, no, uh, let's get three. Let's get uh, three Gaia gears and let's, uh, buy a few silver armlets, I believe, for Palom and Porum. You could get three of that too. So what? They're gonna wear two. They're gonna wear both of them. Uh, no, it's one for each. But, and uh, what's this? We got lustrous helmet. We got lustrous equipment, but we can't. We can buy that, but we can't equip it to anybody just yet. And it's better that you don't for the time being. Not yet, but uh, there is, will be something I will be showing off before we continue our quest to Mount Ordeals. Pig ass. As I will. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon. Mm. So, uh, I'm, I'm just resting here to make sure we're all... To, well, to get rid of the pig status, first off, because I don't have any items in my inventory that gets rid of pig status. Don't you... Can't Palum or Porum cast pig yet? Uh, I don't think... I don't think Palum has Asuna yet. Well, well, you don't matter. If you cast pig on yourself, you get rid of it. I don't think Porum has... Wait, I forget the two. I forget... I mix up Palum the two. Palum may have pig. No, I, I mix up the two, though. Which one's the boy, which one's the girl? Okay, Palum, Palum is the Palum's boy. the boy, Porum's the girl. But okay. the thing is, is that Pig is, I think, is a black magic. It's black magic, but I don't think uh, Palum has it. I don't Porum. think so. Anyway. Oh, Palum. No, it, it's Palum. You see, you're, 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 you're on the same page. I wasn't that, that much better at it. Shut up. Okay, so um, what we're doing here is... So I'm now we've abducted children. Yeah, we, what I'm doing here is I'm saving here, and what I'm actually doing is I'm going to go out of my way to grind a bit. Zeus? Uh, no, not Zeus. It's actually a place that... It's actually going to be pretty badass if you prep for it right. What I'm actually going to do is I'm uh, at this point I've already grinded, so I'm a few levels up. 
and I actually got it done in a real short amount of time, and I'm going to show you exactly where I grind it, just for the sake of, you know, those watching this as a way to play this game and learn how the tricks of the trade, though I have no AC Bailey, I will say that right now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway, so I, I don't want to skip on the journey to Mount Ordeals, because we have to show that, but anyway, new enemy of the game, Zoo! I heard, you know, people gave, said these things were such bastards to fight in the, um, DS version, but I always cast a break and hit them every time. Would you use break? Yeah, because I don't think uh, the death breaker... The zoos, zoos are not immune to petrification, and break gets them right there. Yeah. Is it, but it, how accurate is it? Pretty goddamn accurate. Okay. Well, anyway, this is our next destination right here, Mount Ordeals. To the south is another Chocobo Forest, which is where we're going to be heading up to right now. In fact, it's also a good place to grind around, because if you run out of magic, you can head into the Chocobo Forest, talk to the white Chocobo, restore your MP, everything's all good. We all live in happy times. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Actually, what I'm doing right now, besides that, uh, I'm also going to be uh, riding a yellow Chocobo to the area where I grind it, because this is actually... Are you familiar with the term Peninsula of Power? Peninsula of Power. I don't think I've ever paid a visit to the Peninsula yeah. of Power. Well, Peninsula of Power is a TV tropes term. Um, oh. Is the area... Yeah, I, I'm familiar with the concept of it. Like, the island closest to heaven and hell in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's named after this one area in Final Fantasy I that if you walk on the very tip of the island, you are technically fighting monsters from the island across from it. So they're much higher leveled. So they would kick your ass, but if you're able to beat them, you get much higher experience, which is where I'm going right now. If I never you, really use this area. It's the first. It's the one of the few times I only use it because I generally could do it without it. But if you start, if you hover around this area right here, you're actually going to start fighting monsters from those islands above. See? Woo. Now we have treants and we have needle hogs. Needle hogs are susceptible to the Deathbringer, okay. so you should be able to one-shot them most of the time. Most of the time. But uh, if not, then uh, Dude, you can look at what the, check out the kids. So look like they're doing those little paper mis paper uh, pyramids. <laughs> Who will be my in my love life? Choose number seven. Go six. <laughs> but anyway, uh, treants are, are really wow. sick of fire, and that's Fira working its lovely magic. Uh, but again, these these are enemies you shouldn't be technically encountering at this point, so they can take a beating. As as Pal as Porum learns. Yes, but if you're able to win a few battles in a row then the experience will be well worth it and you'll be on your way to easily owning these enemies within due time. They also give a lot, a lot of gill. Mm -hmm. So you can have a lot of money, you can go back to Mysidia and buy those Paladin equipment, um, and you can come back to Mount Ordeals and you'll be all the, you know, all good. Thing is though, is that try this in the DS version and they'll probably cast that ass, those asshole moves. Yes. I don't even think slow would help you at that point. I don't, I don't even know if it's possible in the DS version. Maybe they fixed the programming on that. What? On, oh, that. Yeah, because generally the peninsula, the concept of the peninsula of power only exists because of uh, a programming error. Well, no, peninsula of powers are generally any area that's specifically designed to have those higher level enemies. Anyway, so similar to Mount Hobbs. So apparently Blizzard is causes a disco rave. <laughs> Palum, I like to cut of your jib. Because that's a... Damn. <laughs> that, that was the worst high five ever. She wasn't even looking at him. <laughs> that was a pat on the back gone wrong. That was a slap up the head. Meanwhile, in the Tower of Zot. Ah, we're gonna bind her. <laughs> so, uh, what were own... you saying to me, Kane, earlier? Uh, uh, Gungi or what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Kane, you cannot be reading Bushido in the bedroom right now. But th 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 you're reading books. E-reader, my friend. <laughs> That's the days. <laughs> anyway, now we got Scarmelion, one of the four elemental arc fiends, which is basically four fiends under an arc. <laughs> anyway. That's <laughs> <laughs> arc fiends. <laughs> Scarmelion. Or if you, ever, if, you're only, if you only played the original uh, Super Nintendo translation in America, Mylan. <laughs> That's a hell of a fucking drop. <laughs> That's like calling Kaiser Dragon Ted or something. <laughs> Or rhubarb, <laughs> rhubarb, the Kaiser Dragon. The ca <laughs> Original character, do not steal. <laughs> anyway, so um, the random encounters in Mount Ordeals are similar to Mount Hobbs, only they're of different color. They're of different colors, so they obviously have different stats going on. Hence the uh, soul enemy in the background there. Uh, they're technically not undead though, which is why Kira didn't do anything right there. I, that was my mistake. Um, you also Ouch. can't use fire on them because they'll absorb that too. So Blizzard is your best bet. 
or Blizzara, because you should have, because uh, Palom and Formal actually start learning spells really fast. Yeah, they do, they level, whenever they level up, they learn like, quite a few, like, I want to say this shit like Ultima or anything, but no. actually they can, can they But they can. learn level 2 spells rather rapidly. What the shit? Oh, suddenly, Tella. I guess he got lost. Yeah. <laughs> just, just we're gonna learn about meteor from a cat. We're gonna learn meteor from a mountain. Yeah. Didn't you know? <laughs> you know what? This actually makes Exodus's appearance of Final Fantasy XII a lot more coherent. Why do you always find him on the mountain? <laughs> whoa, 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 explain what's Exodus. Exodus is one of the twelve. One of the twelve espers or thirteen espers you gain in Final Fantasy XIII. His ultimate is a uh, final limit break attack is called Meteor. And you Would find him in a mountain. Yeah. I think that's uh, I think it's a nice little homage. Yeah, I think I, hey, I can think I can classify that as a homage. Anyway, so uh, Tella, in order to remember, he still has a thirst for vengeance against Golbez. He wants to. He thinks that Meteor, the spell Meteor, will be enough to stop him. Thing is, though, Palom and Form are well familiar with that spell, and they know that it costs a shitload of vitality in order to cast. So, Ninety-nine MP. Well, no, and unfortunately, <laughs> Seth, and unfortunately, Tella just falls nine short in his old age. Yeah, he. Oh, if you're over, if you're wondering for those newbies out there why Tella's MP never seems to go up when he levels up, he doesn't. His MP always stays at ninety. Not to mention that his stats get weaker as you do. Yeah, but anyway, for plot con for plot uh, uh, purposes, they say that casting meteor causes uh, cast uh, costs so much vitality that in Tella's old age, it'll pretty much kill him if he casts it. Right. But Tella doesn't care because fuck it, I'm old. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> the guy's already got enough problems pissing dust as it is. <laughs> pissing dust? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway, so you remember I bought those uh, wizard hats and Gaia gears for this purpose, uh, you know, because I knew Tello was going to be in our party eventually. Might as well equip him with the shit that we're getting, because he's going to be with us for quite a while. Yeah. For once, he won't be rotated out so fast. No, he really won't be. Fuck. Anyway, new encounters. We have Blood Bones and we have Lilith over there. I can see your ass crack. She has plumbers ass. Out. Fuck <laughs> ass crack. That's ass. <laughs> the ultimate plumbers crack. <laughs> hey, could you get that? Thanks a lot. <laughs> could you get that? Thanks a lot. Uh, every en uh, these those enemies, every every single one of them are susceptible to fire. It really hurts against Lilith. But well, that's because oh, well, that's because undead monsters by nature have a weakness to fire. Is Lilith undead? Huh? It will Lilith can be considered undead? But, well, depending on the mythos, but usually no. Yeah, I would just say. Oh fuck! The fire. Anyway, so we have wraiths and revenants. Revenant Ooh. was a playable character in Soul Calibur three, but he was really just sort of like a made up made up uh, costume character, just so that he used twin sword set. Yeah. Cecil's Dark Sword won't do shit against the zombies, as we've seen earlier. But luckily, we have Fira, which will take <laughs> care of Wraiths and Revenants, but souls will absorb them, unfortunately. But luckily, souls are much easier to deal with than Wraiths or Revenants. Thanks to Cecil's, thanks to Cecil giving him a beady poop on the head. And we have to get rid of the silence on uh, poor, poor him, so let's So get, let's uh, use Zeus's wrath. Yes. <laughs> Zeus, help me! Ah! <laughs> Shock her out of the silence. Flush Shock anybody out of the silence. Oh, she's crying. Cry reduces defense. Reduces defense, or in this game, confuses them. Honestly, I I always hold, I held that out for Kane. <laughs> for the um, and no, that's what you're supposed to do in the, with the augments of Final Fantasy IV DS. Always had Kane cry on every boss. <laughs> well, yeah, in, in the purpose hey, of uh, but it, but to make that work, you had to have Cecil cry Rose on the ass with a hearty smile. <laughs> well, in, in in DS, yeah, it lowers defense. In this game, it just confuses. But um. Have you ever tried going after the super bosses in 4DS? I haven't. I've Proto that Babel yet. and uh, the. I got tripped up by the guard node, the attack node. Y oh, uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, the old trick I learned. The old trick wasn't working. I was like, wait, why can't I kill this fucker? I was like, ooh. Uh, troll. So someone's breaking win. I honestly thought somebody was just being really polite. <laughs> Sir. Yes. <laughs> We're fighting a butler. <laughs> He's going really in the butler. Anyway, the our destiny. Oh, there's someone's asking us again. Son of a bitch. Just over this bridge is our. Okay, okay. Well, who the fuck is that? Who's there? Da -da 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 -da! Sweet rave. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit, Mylan. By the, by the, 
Spot the score me, Leon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I think they're named after, like, particular things of Dante's Inferno. I believe that was the reference, yeah. Okay. Dude, fucking Scar Boss time. Have have we have Scarmelion and we have Skullnuts. Which are like remnants. Only what? there's red and more skull. Anyway, same strategy applies to pretty much every other zombie character. Just use fire to get rid of the uh, Skullnuts. Uh, Skullnelion. Uh, Scar Skull Skullnelion. I'm sorry, I get the, it's a fusion. I'm waiting for Skullzarn. <laughs> <laughs> Skullnut. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, same rule applies. Okay, now Scarmelion is all by himself. Uh, Scarmelion only does thunder for this part of the battle. And he gets the shit kicked out of him by Not sword. only does he only do thunder, but he counters everything with thunder. So I hope you like the thunder animation, because you're going to see it a lot in this battle. Mm. But other than that, that's really all he does. Lame. So let's talk other things here. Um, after Scarmelion, there's the other, the other three, right? And yes. Naturally, they're just playing right out of Final Fantasy IV. However, interestingly enough, the four fiends will go on to later games, whereas this is pretty much the only time we see the arch fiends aside from the city. But Oops. these four particular arch fiends in general, yeah, yeah, they were in the. These four particular arch fiends were uh, brought back for. Um, city, that's it. No, not the city. I'm talking about Final Fantasy One uh, remake. Oh, that. Uh, Dawn of Souls. The, the, oh, whoops. Yeah, they were that's brought two. back in those specific in, in the bonus dungeons. You can right. fight them there. Um, but so I think the, I think the they're more proper. I think they're more they're more interesting here though. Yeah, that's where they have some degree of personality. By which we mean Scormelio owns a pansy, Cagna Cognizo's an asshole, Barbaricious after lusting after a particular guy, and Rubicon's the leader. That's all there is to him. He's well, the good. leader and noble. Param learned berserk, which I think we'll be getting some use out of later on. Hopefully. Anyway, so uh, we're beat. <laughs> Fucking zombies. Yeah, right. So what do you think happened? We just threw him off the bridge? Yeah, we threw him off the bridge. Call for a celebration. Let's sleep. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to where we were going in the first place. I like to imagine Scarmelion just tapping his foot right outside that holy barrier. <laughs> well, fuck. Damn it. You cannot kill Sweet Grave. It looks like somebody gets the sweet sound. Like, oh, shit. He's not really dead after all. Woohoo! That would be Scarmelion's true form. I love this tune. Death only makes him stronger. Yes, playing in the background is Battle of the Four Fiends. One of my favorite pieces of music in Final Fantasy history. Agreed. I just love how epic it gets. I personally love the the, the uh, studio PS the Dissidia remake. Yeah. So Here it's, comes it's, his it's, ultimate move, Cursed Elegy. But this, he, but, you know, if, when you're using the strategies that I'm using, this is pretty much all he does. Yeah. You know, it, just it, set it, him on it, fire. It, it, yeah, just set him on fire. The Cursed Elegy... It slows you down, that's all it is. It's a slow spell. Oh, I'm thinking of gas then. Interestingly enough, despite being the Arc Fiend of Earth, Scarmelion doesn't really have any Earth magic. No, he really doesn't. In fact, the only reason he made it to this rank is probably because they <laughs> needed somebody dead to fill the hole. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Wraith, no. Skullnitz, no. no. Uh, maybe Skullnitz later. Uh, hold on to them for a second. Uh, zombies, uh, two of them. Not special about him either. Wraiths, uh, come on, people. <laughs> Scarmelion looks a shitload bigger in this game, though. You there, what's your name? Mylan. Mylan. Uh, Scarmelion. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that in Dante's Inferno. On that pl mystical planet Earth. Uh, by, right. <laughs> by the way, uh, in, the, in the SNES version, uh, in this form, he's called Mylan Z. <laughs> Mylan's? Yeah, you know, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, uh, I was thinking of Mylan's. <laughs> I guess you could say Golbez was really trying to get his mile instead of Gowan. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they said, oh, they, they, damn. That joke kills Scarbulion. <laughs> See? Yeah, but in, in, in terms of in terms of yeah, actual strategies, very simple stuff. Have Purim cast Berserk on Cecil, because that's all he's going to be doing is attacking that battle anyway. Right. Palo should cast Fira all the time, and Tella should cast Fire, or if you want to oh. if you want to make him recall some spell, maybe he'll recall Firago, who knows? By the way, I like that. to imagine when, when he fell, he did like the Wily Coyote. They kind of like a Wily Coyote transition of it. Shh. <laughs> 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 My son, I. Son! <laughs> I'm the son of a tombstone? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna make the family reunion all the more weirder. <laughs> gotta drag his ass all the way to the fucking Baron. <laughs> anyway, so this thing just called us our son. We're the son of a sword? Look at this crystal room. I dig it. Nice look. Oh, now that's a befitting look of a hero. Yeah, but it doesn't look like a very sharp sword. It looks like a stick. 
Now, now, didn't didn't the sword in Legend of Zelda link to the past look like a stick? Very true. But even no, but even that one had a pointy edge. So does this. It's called a wrapper. No, it's called a blunt. It, it's a blunt wren. It's a wrapper. It's stick. <laughs> oh, but, so, so, I'm sorry. Suddenly clone. Kick your own ass. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> what if I hit it and I feel the pain? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd be pretty awkward. Okay, no, this is actually a test of Cecil. In order to truly conquer his Dark Knight persona, he must fight a physical incarnation of it. And by fight his physical incarnation, you mean kick your, get your own ass kicked. Yeah, just defend for this entire battle. Eventually, the Dark Knight Cecil will give up. And, uh, we know, the plot oh, will We have white forward. magic? Yeah, we have white magic now, actually. Well, we only have cure at the moment. But we will Cecil's start learning up. Uh, uh, we will start learning more spells as we move along. I like the sprite, but at the same time, it doesn't really look like Cecil. It looks more like Virian. Well, there's a thing though. The overworld sprite is based off what Cecil looks now oh. in in the, in the modern age. The battle sprite is more of a HD version of his original SNES sprite. Okay. Um, I. Oh, that's it's, a beautiful it, phrase. It is inconsistent, but it's still beautiful looking. I like. Uh, and this is one of my this is one of good moment in gaming. Cecil becoming a paladin. Uh, yeah, that's pretty remarkable moment in the game. I I, I was actually looking for because uh, Cecil has become a paladin, but nobody will pronounce his name right. Bef <laughs> I know, really. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I I back then I pronounced it as Cecil. It should be Cecil. I'm I'm fine with both. It's Western tongue, real. It's Western versus Eastern tongue, really. But when when, when I um, before I played four for the first time, I always watched watch my uncle play this, and uh, I got into the game. I started watching him play in the game when Cecil was already a paladin. So, when I got to that moment myself where that Dark Knight Cecil became the version I was familiar with, I got excited because, like, okay, I'm finally getting somewhere. All right. You know? But it turns out that not only had Cecil became a paladin, but the. Talon must have learned Meteor just by watching a pillar. <laughs> he was so amazed. No, he studied the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> actually, he knew it all along. He just remembered it. No, but actually, on a serious note, Talon not only learned. I am Dermot Surf! Talon not only learned Meteor. <laughs> But he also recalled all his old spells from days of yore. Too bad he won't be able to use more than two or three of them at a piece. But they're still pretty fucking powerful for this time in the game. So now Tella can start rocking Blazaga, Thundaga, Firaga, uh, Tornado, which I really like, Bio, all that shit. It's going to be a great time, but anyway, we'll find... So then what's the point of recalling? Doing it for free? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It actually still costs the same amount of MP. But we've hogged on long enough. Ladies and gentlemen, next time we meet, we're going back to Mysidia and see if we can put an end to Baron's Madness.